This is a very common method to clean quail. I try to pluck as many as I can. Uh, the only thing that's gonna slow you down, why maybe you wouldn't pluck a quail is if it just got hit way too hard. Um, and it's just not worth doing. They pluck super easy. It's nice to keep that skin on there, keep the moisture in. They likely will not turn out perfect. This quail right here is already plucked. Um, and that's about as perfect as you could possibly hope for. There's skin's very uh, thin um, and it rips relatively easily. So you're not gonna get some store-bought looking end product out of there. But just to show you, I kind of feel it out. As a general rule, you're kind of going against the grain, but I keep uh, a thumb down on the skin and then pull after that. So I'm kind of trying to hedge my bets a little as far as not uh, ripping that skin. But you go against the grain, if it feels a little too tough, like you're definitely gonna tear something, you kind of rotate the bird over and, and just go a path of least resistance on the feathers the whole way. What's nice about these birds is typically you're shooting small, fast shot, and uh, the shot will pass right through, and it really doesn't damage the bird all that much. And leaving like little, rings of feathers down here on the cuffs those will typically if you have a hot barbecue grill those will singe right off and it's never affected the flavor in my book at all so little tiny pin feathers aren't that big of a deal the heads just pop right off like that as with all birds they have a crop so you're going to remove the crop and uh, from the front half here and remove the guts from the back half. So just to clean the crop out, I mean, it's located, it basically rests right on the front half of the breast there. Um, just work your finger in there and you're pulling this sack out. That's all there is to it. This skin back here to make it look nice, I'll use a sharp knife instead of gouging around in there with my fingers. So just like any store-bought bird, start down here at the uh, cloaca cut up to the base of the breast. See the guts starting to come out. Now I'll get dirty and just run my finger in there, pull everything out. There are a couple of pieces that I save in here. If I can get the liver in one chunk, I'll save the liver and feed it to the dog just as a treat. And this big impressive chunk is the gizzard. And I'll actually clean up all those little gizzards and fry them in butter and they're very delicious. If you want to get real fancy, you can save the heart and you can get in there and get the kidneys and things, but I don't get overly concerned to get about getting the body cavity really cleaned out because ultimately you're just going to pop those legs off and uh, eat the breasts. Um, so I'll uh, field dress all the birds just like this. And then I'll come back through and clip the wings off, clip the feet off, and dress them up and throw them on the barbecue. 